know, it's four o'clock in the morning. You're sitting at a QT station here with your buddy, and sometimes you wonder what you're doing with your life. Just came from a really interesting scene. You probably should go check out at Lunker's Channel with a raccoon. I'm not fully awake yet. I haven't had my coffee. I forgot my sunglasses at the lake, and uh, I'm just running on fumes. It's time to get some fuel and some shades. Or we go with camo. Well, the sun's just starting to come up over the treetops. <laughs> but LFG won't be around at all, so don't even bother to call. Cause I'm going to fish with Lunkers TV today. Woo! Name that song in the comments, folks, if you know what I'm talking about. Getting ready to do a little bass fishing this morning. I want to show you guys. I'm going to start it off with a tip. Tip to save a little money. If you got braided line, and you want to uh, put it on another reel, if you got a new reel or something, I got, I got something new that I'm trying out right here. I'm taking my braid off this reel, I put it all the way through right here, turn the tension knob up, just keep some pressure on it, and just reel her on in. And that way you're getting the, the old worn out parts going on the bottom, and then you get the nice fresh stuff below. If you do it with mono or fluoro, it's gonna be real wiry, but braid's so soft, it doesn't matter. It lasts a really long time. Just a little tip to save you some money on your next fishing outing. They got these shad balled up right here. Shad are at the surface. Oh, we got some bass. Oh, I just had one bump mine. I got him. There he is. Oh. There we go. Decent oh fish there. Lord. That's a good schooling fish right there, Jack. Got him on that swim bait. Ooh, thank you, darling. Oh, got it. Got him. Got him. Smells good. Got it. Oh, shoot. Woo, there's a good fish. One more jump. He's pretty. Smells good, baby. Big sexy time. How about that right there? There it goes. Got it. That's a real big one. Oh, he's got me in something. Good fish. Good fish. Let's see you, baby. Mmm. Texas rig it up and give it a cast. Switch it up to that little crawl bait. Get taking our worms, biting the tails off. Let you go, sir. Ah, yeah. All right, fishing freaks. Me and Rob have been at it since the early, early, early morning we were out here doing some product testing today for favorite trying to get some products right just for you guys and uh, going hardcore with it the only problem is the fish they're not really cooperating as you know it's hotter than Hades out here in Texas right now and the fish just aren't wanting to do it didn't catch that many this morning but there are some nice bass out here so we are going to get serious now we're done product testing done taking all the photos and doing all the pretty stuff now it's time to go catch a certified mondo so speaking of favorite i want you guys to uh go to the link down in the description if you are interested in checking out some of the big sexy rods that i've been using it's your chance to get free shipping i know that's one of the things that i get asked about is is favorite ever going to do free shipping you can do it right now to the end of the month and not just on big sexy anything on there so if you've been waiting to pull the trigger go ahead and pull that sucker enough plugs and enough of my mug it's time to get the chesty cam on and get to snatching them let's go dude that is a good that's fish. a really nice fish that is dude a good fish. i'm just gonna work this backlash out oh, while you're fighting geez, you, and he I, just get like a six wind need help you got it look at that that's a good quality one dude here i can i can just let old rack snag him snag him snag him snag him <laughs> I got wow. some teeth. Weez. Dang! Dang, that's a good fish. I, think well, I caught the thing here. 
I didn't mean this to be a funny video. <laughs> this was supposed to be serious catching big bass. Oh god. Did I break your rod? Sorry, bro. Good fish? Yeah, I think it's a pretty decent one. Just right out front? Yeah, it was right where I was seeing those boils. We can, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. It's a good one, Rob. Yeah, if you don't mind. Dude, he's just digging. It's a good one. Ah. Dang. Dude, they're so dang strong. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that boy. Yes. Ooh, there you go. Texas rig it up. It's okay. I got off to a rough start, but I feel like I just did something right there. Me and Rob, Rob almost broke rods together. But that's a nice fish. I caught that one on that uh, Texas rig worm, eight inch worm, blue fleck. You've seen me throw it a lot, but gosh dang, it just catches them. Good solid fish right there, man. See you, dude. Or lady, whatever's going on. Oh yeah, nice. Man, I, I can hardly hold this camera. It's so hot. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But we just found some bait fish that are pushed back in this pocket. And we were trying to catch them at the surface and uh, we just threw out some worms. Um, and we both got bit just around the same time. So that's a good sign. We might be on to something. Just have to go a little slow with the worm maybe. When you get that spinner bait out, just get them blades, turn in, just bam, bam, bam. It's oh, not as fast as you can catch them, dadgum. I don't even know what you're doing in big ones. Big time. We're going to need to remember this one, Robert. That's, that's very big. Well, like, I'm still in it. You mark it on the ground? Yeah. Drop down here at that waypoint. Oh, my God, I got to buy it. That's a good in there, boy. That's a big in, son. Right on that tree. That's yep. He was right on the end of that tree. It's right below us. Like it's big. Dude, this sucker is going to China right now. Wow. Come here, big sir. It's a large one. I was just sitting there saying that tree has gotta have a big bass on it. There's no way. Oh, dude, he just spit up crawfish. Did he really? Oh, no, no. Jack? This is what he spit up. Kind of looks like Maybe catfish, it's, dude. That's a catfish. Yeah, dude. Wow. Really? He's eating catfish. Big old bass eating catfish down there. If I was a catfish, I wouldn't want those spines on me. Oh, son, that's a big one. We'll eat this. Is he the kind of fish that would probably eat Oh, my food? gosh, yes. Big bass on trees. Have you ever heard that on the LFG channel before? If not, I'll say it again. They like them. Woo! That's a pretty one. Just a chunk. Okay, buddy. Wish you the best on your journey. Goodbye. Thanks for the fight. Mm, I think I just tapped the edge of it. I didn't get a full wallop. Yeah, just a little dabble, do you? Okay. There was something there. I think that's a bass. That is. He got it. He was running down the deep. That's a big one. That's a real big one. This might be the largest one of the day. I think this might be the eight pounder we were in search for. It. I feel like I'm gonna have to put down this big one. <laughs> this one's about half that size. Oh my. Hello. Everybody calm down, fishing freaks. We're gonna land this fish. It's gonna be okay. On it. That's a freaking monster. Hello, I need to change it up. It's been just chilling in the dirt. Got him. Oh, come off. Oh, oh my gosh. 
All right, guys, we're getting bites. Texas rig is doing well. I'm gonna say this one's about eight pounds. We'll let it swim off, do its thing. That was one of those moments where uh, you're not sure what your bait's doing. That fish grabbed it and started swimming out to deeper water and I was like, I know my bait should be on the bottom. So I just lifted up and I checked the fish. It was there, <laughs> set the hook. It was a Mondo. I've honestly been a little scared to really pump one pretty hard. Oh my God, Rob. Holy shit, my heart about jumped out of my chest. Oh my goodness gracious almighty. Okay, so yeah, they are here. There's a decent one there on the old ring fry. Oh my gosh. It's an angry one. Short chubby one. Other one on the Texas rig. Mm. Oh. Last little fish. You have one. Whoa, whoa, oh, shoot, geez. dude. That's a big one? Yeah, that's not small. Yeah, that's a big one. Yes. Whoa. No, it's good quality fish, though. We'll say that. Heck yeah, it is. Heck yeah. Ooh. Oh, lost momentum, so we're not gonna. I'm probably not gonna want to snap a rod or two. We're just gonna RT gibble it. Woo! There we go. It's another four. Nice. No? Nice. Yes, so maybe so. What do I you like think? it. I like it. He pulled like an eight. Pulled like a 1200. Hey, why don't you throw into a school and catch one with a worm? Woo! Did it. Uh, it should. I think I'm getting a bite. I am. What? The Oh man, Robert, did you see that? Yeah, what are, what are you using a worm? Dude, this is this is seriously a pattern right now. Um, I think I think he took my complete worm right here. I got totally cleaned here, guys. No, I didn't. I got the fish. What in the world happened? Is it a good one? I don't think so. I think he's just one of these good average ones. Hang on a minute. He's got a little weight. He's doing things. He's going out to the ocean. He is a good one. Certified. I'm just gonna squeeze back here. You know what I'm Woo, guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, back over here. This one's a digger. I can't explain to you really what happened right there, but that's a that's a big one. Yeah, I can't even talk right now. That's a good one. <laughs> I do get excited. Woo! This one might be bigger than my hat. Uh, okay, GoPro died, guys. But that is a nice one right there. So what happened was I threw out, Rob just had a bass. He threw out in the school of bass. We let it sink to the bottom, he got a fish. I did the same thing, I got a fish. That's a nice one, that's you know probably a, at least a five. And, um, oh, and Rob's is, getting bit again. Dude, on the fall. Woo, we own something right here. You know it's a pretty good one. When you take your sombrero off, and it's about sombrero links. That's how you know. You get one that's just about as big as your sombrero. That's how they do it in Mexico, maybe. I don't know. Woo! Okay, me and Rob are on something. We gotta get back at it. We'll let this one go. See you, darling. Really, really, really hard fight out here. Do thing. Oh, I got him. Did you? Yep, I did. I finally got a schooler, dude. And, okay. Not a big one, but fun size. Oh yeah, he swiped it. Little school just popped up, threw a little jerky out there. A little teriyaki, the old red teriyaki tail. Why do you guys do this? Just come to the boat. It gets over fast. All right, let's use that momentum. Oh, no. Nope. God, he's a little bigger than I thought he was. Oh. Oh, there's a 
I'll take a Diet Coke fish every day. Oh, yes. Nothing better than catching a bass, getting a good look at it, and then taking a sip of a cold Coke. Good cold Coke. Oh, you want to? Would you like me to? I got a little bit on my lips. Late in the day here, fishing freaks. Getting a little worn down from all these big bass out here. Actually, it's a Texas sun. Big bass are keeping me energized. They're doing this thing out here, this late summer schooling thing, and me and Rob are just like, kind of racking our brains because it's it's really like playing whack-a-mole. You go over there, you cast to them, you might catch one or two and then it's done. You might not catch anything at all. And then they pop up somewhere else and you end up chasing them around on the trolling motor quite a bit. So we're trying to figure out what do we need to do to catch fish? Do we need to stay where we are, like hit points and you know, just kind of go slow or should we chase around? It's hard because we're getting close to evening time and they usually school better in the evenings. What would you do? Let us know in the comments. Is that plastic thing? Not even gonna mention anything there. I about pulled my groin doing that little kick. Dang, dude, that is a good one. That's Rob sure just set the hook and it stuck there. Oh! oh! God! Oh, God! Dude, I got a fish. You got a fish? I got a fish on my freaking. I'm trolling the. Dude, I'm oh, hugging a tree. You're hugging a tree? I just missed an absolute oh. giant. He hit. What in the looks pretty dang good too, dude. Might be a good one. Dang. Dude, if you just if you crush another big one here. Oh my gosh, it is a big one. It's gotta be a big one. Unless you're playing it off like it's not. I mm. think it's just a it's a good, it's a good that's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was dragging the ding dong you're dragging behind the boat. I was boat. I was filming you. Here, you want me to pick it up? Yeah. It's got a pretty good size head on it. Oh my gosh. There you go. What in the crap? Dude, I stuck that one. I wonder how big the one I stuck with. I, I just saw your rod and it was just it not just moving. It move, dude. Couldn't be in on the move. It was not moving. It's all good though. It's wow. Fish, man. Okay. A little mud butt right there. Okay, there's some big fish right here, guys, for sure. We'll, we'll sit here for another minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're going to get this a little shot here. Wow. Right back on that same tree. Wow, it's hooked up again. Come on, this one, it feels good, yes, but it does not feel nearly as good as that last one. Not nearly as big as that last one. Oh, yeah. Flipping up! You know what, I'll take these. You know what, I am plenty happy with catching these summertime bass. <sighs> I haven't had a day like this in a very long time. So Rob hooked up on a giant right there, okay? I was filming it. I was literally just dragging, I had a worm dragging behind the boat. Like I had, I was not even touching my rod. I'm filming him, the rod like starts to go out of the boat. And I almost lost the rod. I had to jump back there and grab it. And it's a big fish. I, and I got hung and mine came out. I can do no wrong today. It's one of those days fishing freaks have you ever had one of those because i can guarantee it's never happened to me on a tournament day never never ever but it hasn't happened in a in a really long time just just having fun with friends and um i just i just want to say i love each and every one of you right now because i feel so blessed with the with the spirit of your your bass fishing like button it's it's definitely it's definitely working, guys. Rob's gonna cut my throat. Ah! <laughs> you might have to help, bro. This is a big one. Holy cow, look at the shoulders on her. Oh, we're gonna flip her up. Oh, Woo! no, we're gonna flip it the other way. Flip it the other way, I'll mess it up. Ah! Is it good? Here we go. Woo, he's running. Oh, baby. Doing a full squat for you guys right now. Get over that spot. Woo! Sometimes you gotta just go for the squat. Here we go, here's the big one. All right. Oh, Woo. I would say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say minimum. Oh, oh. I think that's a five or a six there, Rob. I think it's a 12. Oh, it's a good one, they got some good one. Here we go. Hit him with a squash. Woo! G. Ah. <sighs> go ahead and bite me, I don't care. I love you. There we go. Love you, oh, baby. I think. Go eat you some big old baits. Oh, yee -hoo. Oh, the other 
stuff you just absolute tank hooked into that i've been losing these big fish all day finally got one thank you girl i love you so much sun's going down you guys there'll probably be a point down the road where somebody puts together our best scenes because there's just magical things that happen i can't even explain to you guys the way i was catching them today that was so good rob caught a giant on the live stream on his live stream you got to go watch it it was magical it was like last minute i will give you guys a rundown uh in the a.m it is super we've been up all day and i'm super tired and i just want to end on a fabulous note wake up fresh get the hot cup of coffee and give you guys the complete rundown on gear rods everything like that and just just bask in the glory by the way guys if you're wondering why i have blood on my nose I sniffed a bass during the live stream and it bit my nose, so uh, that happened. So, anyway, I'll see you guys back at the house. We'll go over here. So, if you throw in Rob's big old seven and a half pounder he caught in the live stream, that was probably a 33, I'm gonna say around a 33 pound sack. You know, I had that one that was you know, eight and a half, could have been bigger, I don't know. Uh, multiple sixes, multiple fives. Um, it was just a really, really, really good day. And the fish were hanging in cover and structure. It was hot, you know, they were, um, they were really digging into that heavy cover. And they weren't necessarily that deep. They were only like 10 to 15 feet deep. Some were even like six to eight feet deep. Um, but they were kind of close to creek channel bins. And I've seen this a lot before in the, in the deep, heart of summer going up into the creeks and the back areas you know people have been fishing out on the main lake for deep bass uh, all summer and all you know post spawn and everything and for some reason I, the oxygen the shade whatever uh, they start to move into the backs of the creeks if there's bait bait there and there was a lot of bluegill a lot of shad so um, it turned out really good actually a lot of the bigger bass we caught were um, towards the back of a creek so I know you guys hear me talk about worms all the time but that was the killer yesterday we tried cranks we tried top waters we tried swim baits we tried it all and really what ended up being the key bait was throwing a Texas rig worm baby throwing that Texas rig worm and I think the reason is is they just go into that cover they're hiding out there and you just gotta hit them you gotta hit them right in there where they are with that worm and it's just the perfect bait my favorite in the summertime is a 8 to 10 inch worm just depending on the lake and I'll switch around different sizes it seemed like they were kind of hesitant to bite yesterday so I went with an 8 inch worm and this is just a ribbon tail worm this is a red bug color I was actually throwing a lot of blue fleck uh, me and Rob were throwing a lot of blue fleck that seemed to be uh, the best bait going and then I switched up to just a simple uh, ring fry and a baby bass color just because I had it, I mean, I took uh, I took one big box of plastics and without a doubt, I'm gonna carry the worms and ring fries just about everywhere I go. And this is a color I hadn't used in a long time, but it's, it's kind of good in the summer because bass fry that are coming off the spawn are now a pretty good size. I mean, they're, they're about this long. You know, they call them fingerlings and may, maybe some are a little bit bigger, but this is a baby bass color and bass, unfortunately, they just eat their own. The rod I stuck with yesterday, this is pretty much the only rod I went with because I was throwing Texas rigs and I happened to have fluorocarbon on here. I went down to fluoro because the fish were being just finicky. They were dropping the baits. So this is 16 pound fluorocarbon, perfect for Texas rigs. And I'll tell you guys, if you're gonna throw Texas rigs a lot or uh, a lot of weightless baits, uh, 15 to 20 pound fluorocarbon line is really good for throwing Texas rigs like that. I'll put a link down in the description for this rod combo. Um, it's super popular, but I doubt it'll be available. This is like one of the most popular combos that Favorite has, um, so we can't keep it in stock. You gotta make sure that you fully squeeze the like button today because it was a super juicy one. I had an amazing time. Me and Lunkers had some, we've had some great videos, but today we crushed it. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because we're having good times. It's good fun on and off the water. I don't really know why you wouldn't want to, honestly. And if you're an awesome Fishing Freak subscriber, if you want to support the channel and you like getting your Texas rig on, or maybe you just want to get into it and you want to support the channel and get one of these super awesome Texas rig hats, the link will be down in the description for you. I appreciate it. That's all I have for you today, Fishing Freaks. Make sure when you go fishing, 
You have a good time. Keep your spirits high and spread the good word of fishing to all. I'll see you guys in the next video. I think I'm going to close out the video this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.